four, Ma. Okay, Ma. five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, eighteen, nineteen, yay! Uh, yeah, come on, let's go. Oh, no rock today? What? Come on, baby. You too interested in the truck? You see the truck? Yeah. Truck? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Woo! Yeah, that run was epic. I just ran seven miles in 72 minutes. I am excited about that. I'm back on my couch to 10K. I have got to finish this program. I have like five runs left, five or six runs left. So, whew, I'm excited about that. I was just pumped this morning, y'all, because I stepped on the scale and it was not about the ride, okay? So nothing motivates you more than stepping on the scale and seeing an unflattering number, okay? I had way too much this weekend, so I'm sure a lot of it is probably water weight, but still. I'm going on vacation next week. I can't be bloated and puffy. So I'm back on the grind. <laughs> but it's so funny, the lady came and got me like one minute until I was finished and said that Chad was getting a little fussy. So it was like perfect timing. I was able to finish my run. What up peeps? It is Tuesday and I am off work. I didn't vlog anything this morning. I didn't really do anything though. I just went to Starbucks, got a coffee and then came to work. So. Um, now I'm leaving to go get uh, pick up Chad from Gabrielle. She's getting her hair. Um, she's getting her hair done today, though. Getting her hair did. So I'm going to pick up Chad. I don't know what Chad and I are gonna do. Maybe we'll go hang out somewhere. Maybe we'll just go home. Hmm, who knows? But yeah, so it is extra windy outside right now. Waiting my for my phone to charge because it was dead, and I need to be able to uh, see what the address is for this place so needs to hurry up and start up but yeah uh, been a pretty good day pretty uneventful day so I blew my hair out right I blew my hair out because I'm about to go and get braided up because I have this wig some hair that I was sent that I need to review and I had the wig made but I didn't get it stocked so I'm going to go and get it styled like kind of get it installed but I'm not gonna have her I don't think I'm gonna have her sew it on but y'all I blew my hair out right and I am feeling this blowout like I almost don't even want to get my hair braided because I'm feeling my hair right now like I am loving what it's giving me at the moment but I'm sure I'll be over it in a few days so <laughs> hopefully this wig comes together it's my first time going to this chick we went to high school together but um she's always like doing kelly's wigs and braiding up kelly's hair so i figure i've seen her work she does a really good job so i'm hoping she can style it up cute because the plan is for me to wear it to cali next week um but i don't know i was telling babe i'm like do i want to wear my hair or do i want to wear a wig i just don't want to feel like dealing with my hair while I'm on vacation I gotta have all of my products and what if my twist out don't turn out right then I'm gonna be pissed off so if I wear a wig I can take a couple wigs I can switch it up like I know what they're gonna look like so I don't know I haven't figured it out yet I guess I have a week if I absolutely don't like this wig I can just take my hair down and do it and wear my hair but that'd be a waste of money uh, <laughs> babe was like well you got a week he knows how indecisive i am so yeah so much i'm so excited that our vacation is coming up but i'm like not stressed but kind of like oh i need to start packing because i'm gonna have to pack for me i'm gonna have to pack for siege i don't even know how that's gonna work this is his first plane ride which is exciting but yeah, I just, I've been watching like YouTube videos, trying to figure out what to take with me, like what he needs. So if you've ever traveled with a toddler, 17 month old, by the way, see, just 17 months old today, yay. Yeah, so if you ever traveled on a plane with a toddler, leave your tips down below, please, because I'm pretty 
pretty sure I'm going to need them. This is my wig, y'all. It is beautiful. I am loving this curl pattern. I'm going to have her straighten it and throw some curls in it. But this is Christina. She's doing me up. If you're in the Indianapolis area and you need somebody to do your hair, she'll hook you up. But, oh, this is so pretty. I'm so excited about this wig. You're gonna make sure you put the movable lightweight hose spray. And spray your section like lightly. I like to take a comb and smooth it through. That way it ensures you have a smooth curl. This curling iron with your hair being so long, an inch and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is take my iron and come in towards the base of it. Start curling. I kind of like wrap, I start wrapping the hair around as I slide it up. Yep. Uh, Roll it up if like it a falls pink out, curl. which it might fall out on yeah, you, yeah. just pick it up and Roll yep, it can back. curl it back. Can curl it back, okay. Oh, look at that. The clip set. Okay. So basically, yeah. do your whole head like that. Yeah. And you want to make sure it cools, like if you really want it to last a really long time. Mm -hmm. So after you get the whole head done, just kind of let it cool down, like do your makeup, get dressed, mm -hmm. whatever, go eat breakfast, whatever. Okay. And then just drop them out. Okay. So here's the finished product. It's not bad. I threw some more curls in it, but they keep falling. I don't know. Is wear it wavy. I haven't decided how I'm gonna wear it, but I'm impressed with this wig. It's actually constructed really well. It's a fly honey wig, so it's um bundles and a closure on a. I think she uses a Japanese swim cap. I think it's kind of like a spandex dome cap, but uh, yeah, I am impressed with the construction. I like it. It's a whole lot of hair, y'all. This hair is like all the way down my back like almost to my foot like this is the longest 24 inches oh, I've ever seen and maybe it's just long to me because I don't normally wear 24 inches but uh, it's really really long babe was like dang that's a whole lot of hair yeah. <laughs> but he likes it so it works I gotta do some more just a little more customization make sure the part is straight and all that good stuff but overall it's good Am I gonna keep it for my out of town ventures? We'll just have to see. <laughs> yeah, reunite. What I want it? Reunite it. And it feels so good. Are you saying hello to me, Baker? Are you saying hello to me? Are you saying hello to me? He missed me. Mm -hmm. I come bearing gifts. Do you now? Yes. Sweet. It's your birthday gift from Kale. Nice. <laughs> she's so funny. <laughs> That's why she said it was more for her than for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she gave it to me. I was like, uh, is this for me? Yeah. Or is this for Chad? She was like, it's for Chad, not you. Chad, don't drink wine. She's so funny. She's hilarious. Cool, thanks, thanks Kels. Kels. Look, thanks, we put that together. <laughs> I'm excited. I want to open a bottle of wine just because. I know, that's nice. I can't wait to use it. Same one she's got, right? You know what? I, I think it may be. Yeah. Yeah, cool. That's pretty nice. You would think somebody who enjoys wine as much as I do would have already had an electronic bottle opener, but I didn't. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, I had to drop Oscar off because I'm keeping Gracie tomorrow and y'all know Gracie's scared of, of Oscar and there's absolutely no way I'm listening to him bark in the bathroom all day. So he's going to hang out with Baker at Kale's house. I don't even think I showed her. Y'all didn't get to see Kelly, sorry. Maybe you'll see her tomorrow. But yeah, so I just got home. It's like 11 o'clock. I gotta edit this vlog, get in the bed. I may actually go to sleep and get up in the morning and edit the vlog. Hmm. Hmm. Decision, decision. Decision, decision. 
Been I gone. can't even believe you're still up. Uh, I fell asleep a couple times. Did you? You've been up. You've been gone too long. I know. I was gone for an hour. You know I can never just go yeah, over exactly. Kelly's house. And That's why you was like, make sure you stay up. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I was really thinking to myself on the way there, like, I'm going to go. I'm going to drop Oscar off. I'm going to be gone like 30 minutes. An hour later. Here I am. Uh, I think longer than an hour. No, because it was 9.45 when I left the house. It is now 11.12. We got to calculate drive time. 15 minutes of drive time. You're so cute. So that's about an hour I think and, I and a half. Is it open? I think so. Alright guys, so this is probably the end of our night. We shall see you tomorrow. Good night. Deuces. Deuces. Wow. <laughs>